Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain gradient, divergence and curl using few interesting examples and case studies. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of gradient. First of all, one should know what is del operator. The reason is using del operator, we can identify gradient, divergence and curl. So one should know what is del operator. See, del operator is vector operator by which we can identify gradient, divergence and curl. Del operator is del along with arrow. That is del by del x in i direction plus del by del y in j direction plus del by del z in k direction. So using del operator, we can identify gradient, divergence and curl. Now let me explain how to identify gradient. See, gradient is applied on scalar quantity. Always remember this. Gradient is applied on scalar quantity. And after gradient, we will be having vector quantity. So you will be having function that will be scalar function on which we can apply gradient. So gradient of function f that is del f. That is del f by del x in i direction plus del f by del y in j direction plus del f by del z in k direction. This is very essential. You need to understand this. See, gradient is applied on scalar quantity. And after gradient, we will be having vector quantity. So gradient of function explains variation of function with respect to x, y and z. Right. And after gradient, we have vector quantity. So after gradient, we have vector quantity means gradient of function that is vector quantity and gradient of function explains variation of function in x direction, y direction and z direction. Now let me take one example. See here, I'll be considering example of room temperature. So here room temperature is a function and that is getting changed because of air conditioner. So in one room, we have AC because of which, but obviously there will be change in temperature. So here, the function that is temperature, temperature is scalar quantity that one should know. Here we are dealing with to identify gradient by which we can understand how change in temperature happens. So as and when you turn on AC, in this vicinity, nearer to AC, there will be fast change in temperature, right? So nearer to AC, there will be fast change in temperature. And if you go far from AC, means in corner of room, there will be slow change in temperature. So here gradient explains what? Change in function, right? Gradient explains what? change in function. So with respect to different location, how much change in function is happening that one can identify using gradient. So again, remember this gradient is applied on scalar quantity. After gradient, we get vector quantity, right? And it explains variation of function in X, Y and Z direction that one can observe X direction means I y direction means j and z direction means k, right? Now I'll solve one problem. Here we have question where we have function f and we need to identify gradient of this function f at this point. So first of all, we need to identify gradient. So what is gradient? Gradient is del f. That is partial differentiation of function with respect to x in i direction plus Partial differentiation of function f with respect to y in j direction plus partial differentiation of function with respect to z in k direction, right? Here we need to place the function and we need to do partial differentiation. There is one thing that you need to note down. The partial differentiation and normal differentiation both are different, right? What is the difference? See, when you talk about partial differentiation, with respect to x at that time y and z are constant 
when you talk about partial differentiation of parameter with respect to y at a time x and z those are constant when you do partial differentiation of anything with respect to z at that time other than z is constant right so here partial differentiation of this function with respect to x is what t this much term that is not having anything with respect to x so this is 0 x differentiation is 1 and this is y square so this much term partial differentiation is y square in i direction right you can observe over here here we are doing partial differentiation with respect to y so y square partial differentiation is 2y into x and y partial differentiation is 1 into z cube here we are doing partial differentiation with respect to z so this much term is constant so partial differentiation of this is 0 and z cube partial differentiation is 3z square into y that is how we are having gradient of function right and now we need to place a point that point is 1 2 3 just place the point x is equals to 1 y is equals to 2 and z is equals to 3 you will be getting this answer right so that is how one can identify gradient of function right now i'll explain you divergence see based on divergence one can understand divergence theorem so first of all you need to understand what is divergence as i have told you gradient divergence and curl all three are calculated using del operator only see divergence that is applied on vector quantity always remember this see gradient is applied on scalar quantity divergence is applied on vector quantity after divergence we get scalar quantity right so after divergence we get scalar quantity let me explain you how see if we have function f that is vector function then divergence is del dot f see there is a difference in between gradient and divergence gradient is del f where we multiply function with del operator but divergence is del dot f means here we need to have dot multiplication means here after dot multiplication we will be having del fx by del x plus del fy by del y plus del fz by del z so this is divergence of function f right now i'll explain you what is divergence theorem so mathematical definition of divergence that is del dot f that is limit delta v tends to zero delta v is volume as if volume is going towards zero then integration of function with respect to area divided by delta v that is equals to divergence here if you observe this carefully this is what definition of differentiation so if you do integration by taking this delta v on other side then we will be having volume integration so if you do that integration then you will be having divergence of function with volume integration that is equals to functions integration with respect to surface integration right so divergence theorem explains what it explains relationship in between volume integration and surface integration that is divergence theorem see here divergence of function with volume integration is function surface integration means here we have a relation of volume integration and surface integration based on divergence theorem right so divergence theorem that explains relation in between volume integration and surface integration now you need to understand what is the meaning of divergence see divergence explains overall functions variation in x y z direction so if you observe this divergence of function then that explains what it explains overall change of function with respect to x y and z direction the gradient explains functions variation with respect to x y z direction but divergence explains overall change in function with respect to x y and z direction let me take one example now i'll explain one very interesting example over here see with this example water is a function for given tank so here we have one tank inside this tank 
वी हैव वाटर एंड दी वाटर इज अ फंक्शन तो वी आर डील विथ टू आइडेंटिफाई डायवर्जन्स ऑफ फंक्शन विच इज वाटर तो यूजिंग दिस वाल वी आर इंसर्टिंग वाटर इन साइड टैंक एंड यूजिंग दिस डिफरेंट वाल्स वी आर टेकिंग वाटर आउट तो इफ यू कैलकुलेट डाइवर्जन्स देन बट ऑब्वियसली इन दिस रीजियन यू विल बी गेटिंग पॉजिटिव डाइवर्जन्स वाई द रीजन इज इन दिस रीजियन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस वाल वॉटर इज इंसर्टेड एंड एज वॉटर इज इंसर्टेड डाइवर्जन्स इज पॉजिटिव ओवर हियर while if you identify water over here then water is coming out from this wall means divergence in this region will be negative and if you identify divergence in this region then there is no change in water in this region means here we have zero divergence so divergence explains what it explains overall change in function with respect to x y and z coordinates right now i'll explain you one problem here we have function f as i have told you divergence is applied to vector quantity right so we have function f that is vector over here and we need to identify divergence of this function so what is divergence divergence is del dot f that is del by del x of x coordinate of function plus del by del y of y coordinate of function plus del by del z of z coordinate of function so here x coordinate is x y square y coordinate is y and z coordinate is x z if you do partial differentiation over here then see partial differentiation of x that is 1 and y square is constant so here we have y square partial differentiation of y with respect to y that is 1 and partial differentiation of z with respect to z that is 1 and x is constant that is how we have divergence of function and with this we need to place point that is 1 2 if you place this point then you will be getting divergence of function at this point that is 6 over here so if you have function which is vector function then by divergence we can identify overall variation right now i'll explain you basics of curl again see curl is also calculated using del operator only right so if you want to identify curl then that is applied to vector quantity and curl of function is vector quantity see these are the basics that you need to understand gradient is applied on scalar quantity after gradient we have vector quantity divergence is applied on vector quantity after divergence we have scalar quantity curl is applied on vector quantity and after curl we have vector quantity let me explain you how see if you have function that is vector function then curl of function is del cross f and that is matrix solution of ijk del by del x del by del y del by del z fx fy and fz so using curl of function we can identify variation in function along with the direction here there are few interesting case studies that i'll explain but first of all i need to explain you stokes theorem see based on curl of function stokes theorem is there let me explain you how c del cross f as per the mathematical definition it is limit delta s tends to 0 line integration of function divided by delta s that is how basic definition is there with del cross f here this is what a definition of differentiation with respect to surface so if you take surface integration then you will be having surface integration over here and over here we will be having line integration of function so stokes theorem explains relation of surface integration with line integration right so curl of function f surface integration is function's line integration right so 
Cox theorem that explains relationship in between surface integration and line integration. Right. Now you need to understand this. See, curl explains what? Curl explains variation of function with position and direction. So, curl of function that explains variation of function with position and direction. So, it explains variation of function with different positions along with direction it explains that. Let me take one example that will give you more clarity. See, here I will be taking example of rotation of turbine. So, here we have turbine and we need to identify direction of rotation of turbine by placing that with respect to river. So, here we have river you can observe and the river direction that is happening in this direction and turbines are placed over here, right. Now, if turbines are just touching the surface of water of river, then turbine will be rotating like this, right. It will be rotating like this as you can observe by direction it is shown over here. But what if you insert turbine bit more? If you insert this turbine bit more, then rotation speed of this turbine that will decrease. As you insert it more, rotational speed will decrease. If you insert it completely, if that turbine that is inserted completely, 100%, in that case, this turbine will not rotate, right? So here, rotation that gives you direction, means direction of rotation is identified over here using curl, right? So curl explains rotation means directional rotation of this turbine as you change the position as you move this turbine inside river rotational speed will decrease right so once you identify the function you can easily calculate how much rotation is happening right so using curl there are many things that we can solve in future coming videos i'll explain you what is exactly divergence theorem and what is exactly stock theorem thank you so much for watching this video